You've probably heard the term AGC, or Automatic Gain Control, but what exactly is it and why should you care if your signal booster has AGC? AGC is crucial in maintaining top performance of your cell phone signal booster. All WeBoost signal boosters feature automatic gain control. In fact, we have over 50 patents in the industry. But that isn't true for all boosters on the market. In short, AGC monitors the incoming signal level from the cell tower and adjusts the various cell spectrums on the booster to ensure you're getting the maximum amount of coverage area. AGC also prevents oscillation issues. In strong signal environments, the booster will reduce its gain for each frequency spectrum individually, as to not overload or shut down, thus giving you greater coverage area inside. Each carrier uses different bands and frequencies, so having a booster that will adjust each frequency separately is important. Without AGC, if one frequency has an overpowering signal, it will overload the booster and provide no coverage inside for any carrier, even though the other carriers have an acceptable incoming signal level. With AGC, the booster will simply adjust the gain down for the overpowering frequency and still provide strong coverage for all the other frequencies inside. Cell signal is not a constant. It's continually fluctuating due to all sorts of factors. The number of users on a tower, carrier testing, and environmental factors such as weather all affect cell signal. For example, if a booster system is set up in the summer when the trees are in full leaf, when fall comes and the leaves fall, more signal will pass through to the booster. Without AGC, this may overload the booster and shut it down. With AGC, however, the booster simply adjusts itself down and continues to provide a strong boosted signal. You probably don't notice it, but cell signal at any location wavers up and down many times throughout the day. With AGC, your signal coverage remains constant as the booster continually adjusts itself. Without AGC, your booster is stuck where you set it. No improvement if the signal gets stronger, it may even shut down due to overpowering, and worse coverage if the incoming signal drops. Most boosters do have some sort of functionality to adjust them for incoming signal level, like this, a bunch of dip switches which are cumbersome and confusing to use. These manual adjustments will also affect all bands, and they don't change with the condition, which is no good for anyone. Plus, AGC adjusts the gain algorithmically, which is much more exact and precise than a person can do on their own. AGC is also important in preventing oscillation. With signal boosters, if the inside antenna and outside antenna are too close together, they will interfere with each other and cause oscillation. You can compare this to feedback between a microphone and a speaker. Think of this as two spheres of signal around the antennas. If the signal is too strong, the spheres of signal around the antennas will overlap one another, communicating with each other and causing a feedback loop or oscillation. To prevent this, AGC will reduce the gain, therefore shrinking the signal spheres so that they are no longer overlapping, and eliminating the oscillation. However, when the gain is reduced, so is the coverage area of the indoor antenna. So if the booster is using AGC to prevent an oscillation issue, and you're not getting adequate coverage from the indoor antenna, you should consider adding more separation between the antennas or shielding them from one another to maximize the gain and coverage area of the indoor antenna. So that's AGC. If you've got any questions, feel free to contact us and we'd be happy to chat with you about it. And check out some of these other videos for more great tips. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this every week. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.